Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mud flaps on an STI. Uh, this is a 2012 STI Limited, um, and uh, pretty much most of the models and years are the same. Um, as you can see, there are currently no mud flaps installed at all. Um, and I'm going to show you how easy it is, but yet it is tedious um, to do it, but it's simple. So go to follow me, I'll show you the other side that has been completed already. And as you can see, we have already installed the right side of the car. I'm going to show you the tools that you're going to need to get the job done. Uh, I feel like I'm turning into a Mr. Impatient Man because most of my jobs are being done at night now. Um, <laughs> so I recommend a, a really small flat screwdriver, uh, medium screwdriver, and even a long screwdriver, which I have over there, uh, a short Phillips screwdriver, and a metric 10 millimeter, the best one. And then this just comes with the Subaru, and because I'm ghetto, I'm using the, uh, <laughs> the one that's inside the car. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing you wanna do is jack up your car and you're going to want to place the jack right there. That's the best spot to put it on the car and then start jacking it up. Once the car is jacked up, go ahead and move the nut, lip nuts and just pull the wheel out. Alright, so we're going to go underneath the car now, right next to the door. Uh, and there's two little pieces that I'm going to show you how to take off. So go ahead and follow me down. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver for this piece right here. Okay, just screw that. Maybe you might want to hold one piece while the other one opens up. Just go ahead and pull that. Take a flat head. Pull that out. You so in this one I recommend just use the, the bigger, two bigger Phillips. There we go. That piece is out. Just pull that one with your hands. Okay, so we've got the bottom part. Those parts are taken off. Now you've got to make sure that you open the door. Open it as much as you can. And we're going to start pulling this tab. There we go. Gotta wiggle it a little bit. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. So you wanna leave it right about here. And now you gotta take this panel that shows STI. You wanna, there we go. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. There we go. All right, the next piece is we're going to have to take these three down with the Phillips and these two with the flathead. The, the bigger flat heads for this one. Or actually, one big, one small. So it, it kind of popped already. I'm just trying to get underneath the whole thing. There we go. One 
one more up here. There, that popped. So now I just gotta get underneath the whole thing. And if you're impatient like me, no matter what time of night, you will get this done. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just pull this. Okay, now this is really quick. You're just gonna take these two pieces right here, and you're gonna slide them in at an angle. Obviously, make sure that the holes line up. Slide them in at an angle, making sure the holes line up. And that's it. Slide this entire piece right back how you got it. Okay, make sure the holes are lined up. Got your bracket. Should have the one with a little dip. Okay, if it's the one that's going straight across, that's for the back. Okay, now we're gonna take, there's two types of screws. There's one that has a round top and one that has a flat top. Do not use the one that has the round top. For now, we're only gonna use the two flat tops and they're gonna go in these two pockets right here and you want to slide this one right in between okay and I'm just gonna put the screw there just to just to hold it up for me Okay, and if you see, this is going to slide right in between the two. Okay, so this is actually going to hang over uh, the body. So let's go ahead and tighten these up a little bit. We're going to use the one that has the Phillips, and we're going to pop that in the place. There we go. There we go. Make sure that's tight. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and do the, uh, the flat one. Yeah, make sure that's all lined up. All right, that was nice and easy. Ah, nice and easy. Okay. Now that we've got that done, we'll go ahead and tighten these guys up. And again, as you tighten this one, push in this direction. Good. Alright, and again, make sure this is flush. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and put this piece back. Make sure it's uh, right in between there. Good. And then the bottom one, you want to just tuck it in between there and then lock it into place. Now we can close the door. Voila. Great. Okay. Next piece is this piece right here. It's the one that does not have the Phillips head on it. It's just completely uh, empty. And we're gonna put that right into this piece. Make sure it's all the way in, flush. 
just like so. All right, replace the bottom part. And the one with the Phillips goes in the front. Oops. All right. All right, and uh, here actually comes the easy part. So rally, make sure you point it in the opposite direction. Slide it over. Washer. Washer. I'm gonna screw it just a little bit just to hold it into place. And then a washer for the rounded screwdriver is going to go in, in that piece right there. As you can see, this would be extremely difficult to do if you had a tire in the way. Got the 10 millimeter, and we'll just start tightening these up. Now again, do not over tighten. The reason I say again is because the instructions already say so. And that's it. We'll put the wheel back on, see how it looks. Okay, we have completed the front. We've got the mud flap on and the Rally Armor red logo facing the rear. Now the back is going to be completely different, so follow me to the back and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, on the back side there's actually a little, little pole, I'm going to put that in the groove right in here. So. Side. And let's get started on the back. Okay, there's going to be five of these that we're going to be pulling out. So here's the first one. Okay, there's one. And the other two are directly underneath. So follow me down here. There's three, and the other two are going to be kind of hard. They're actually up here by the muffler. All right, so there's two down over here. There's one more right here. going to go ahead and pull the body out a little bit and this whole piece that my left hand is on should just pop down Might be a little debris in there okay and you want to have it at this angle we're going to install the bracket right here okay so you're going to slip this piece into there okay and then you just want to align the holes up now there's going to be a gap and that's okay. You actually want there to be a gap. So you're going to push it forward. Okay. Now that we got it on, we're going to just put it right back to where we got it from. And then this piece is going to slip behind 
And then these two are gonna slip in front of the body. Of course, you wanna make sure that you have the body aligned. And then the metal piece is actually gonna be inside. Make sure that the, the body is on the outside. Just make sure the holes are lined up and we should be all set to uh, put things back together. So we'll start with this one first. This one's the easiest to line up, that's why. Okay, and then on the, uh, the bottom pieces, you're gonna use the one original but you're going to use the other one that was not the original. And that one is going to go in where the metal frame was. And you're just going to slide that all the way in there. Okay. And you're going to use your Phillips to tighten that into place. And that secures this metal bracket. There we go. And we're going to use one of the originals. Secure the other piece. Okay. And then we're gonna get the really hard, the two really hard pieces back up in there. It's actually a lot easier putting them in than just taking them out. There we go. All right, so we're gonna get one of these pieces again, and this is gonna go right here, straight across. Make sure you line up the hole so you can see it. And uh, just as a tip, I recommend to bend this back just a, a quarter inch, just for clearance of the tire and uh, suspension. Okay, finishing touches. We'll put the rally armor on like we did the last piece. And we're going to secure it with a washer and the metric screw. If you did not get dirty doing this whole process, you cheated. Once again, we're going to have the round top screw piece and one more washer, and that's going to go right over here. tire back on. Okay, so we're all done and here's the finished product. Hey, thanks again for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, subscribe. It really helps me out. And I got some still pics for you coming up right now. Thanks.